Hello folks, this is Jamil Sweat for Gunstock Reviews. We're here in Phoenix, Arizona, the world headquarters of Enlo Custom Guns with Marty. How you doing, buddy? Good. Well, today we're gonna talk Springfield Armory XDs and customizing them. Okay. So we have a ba pretty much basic mm -hmm. Springfield Armory XD, their um, mil spec type, you know, basic gun. Okay. Okay. Uh, had is the front and rear sight changed, and I think yeah we changed the guide rod. Yeah, the guide rod looks uh, looks aftermarket. Yes, yeah. it's aftermarket guide rod from Springer Precision. Springer Precision. Springer makes a really cool guide rod for this for the XD that takes uh, 1911 Commander springs. Mm -hmm. You always have to take, depending on which spring you buy, you have to lop off one or two loops out of it. Hmm. But, you know, we'll put it in, it takes up either a 14 or a 11 pound spring, mm -hmm. and depends which one is how many coils you, because you basically co cut coils until you can lock it back. Got that's it. Okay. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Because it when you put the normal commander spring in it, mm -hmm. it will not go close all the way. Right. As soon as it locks, eh, that's good enough for government work, you know? So, what are we going to do to this one? Um, well, we got a bag, we got tons of bags of parts here. Uh, so, why don't you tell me? <laughs> okay, well, let's go back per bag. Uh, so all our Springer Precision parts. Mm -hmm. This one is a stainless steel extended mat catch. This one is a stainless steel extractor. This is the trigger kit. We're gonna put the complete uh, trigger kit for it. I actually got two of them in here. Um, we have their grip safety, which has a bump on it to well, get a more positive. Extended, uh, extended uh, grip safety, so yep. to speak. We have mm -hmm. Springer Precision Striker, mm -hmm. Springer Precision Ejector, mm -hmm. uh, the new Springer Precision uh, Trigger. Five phase the, trigger, yeah. You know, so this is pretty cool. I haven't tried it yet. And we have a couple of cosmetic things that we're gonna do to it. Doesn't improve anything of the fact that it makes it cool. Mm -hmm. Is the retainer plate. I got a red one and I and I got the indicator guide and I got a blue one. So it's gonna look cool. Now the difference we're gonna put in is we're gonna put a Burris Fast Fire 3 on the, onto the slide, but instead of machining it and co-witnessing and all that kind mm -hmm. of stuff, we're gonna do an economical solution mm -hmm. to it. We're gonna put the Springer Precision base, which basically goes on the dovetail of the rear sight, replaces the rear sight with this dovetail, and then you put the fast fire onto it. Sure. And it's gonna be a little higher, of course, not gonna be as slow as when you go in and you machine, mm -hmm. uh, the slide and all that, but it's gonna be a whole lot less expensive yeah. than if you do all that machining, because, um, you know, even you've done this machining before, and, yeah, it, and it's not cheap. Yeah, it's not cheap, and it's, uh, you know, uh, uh, there's a reason why it costs a lot, because uh, there's some risk involved, because, uh, you know, if, if, uh, if something goes wrong, uh, you know, I'm on the hook for a slide, so uh, if I'm on the hook for a slide, I'm gonna charge a lot. <laughs> yes, yeah. so you, gotta, you gotta cover yourself. Mm -hmm. So we'll use this. Um, and we have the Fast Fire 3. Mm -hmm. That's a little dent in it, if you can fix it. Mm. You know, not just leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I put that dent in there, so don't, you know. This is my buddy's gun, this one is mine. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and try it. He's gonna shoot some IDPA with it at night. Okay. So this is what happens when we get old, man. You can't see the front sight. Oh well, well, yeah, but uh, you know, as far as uh, your, your IDPA, which means it's not a general carry gun anyway. So, no, uh, no. you know, as far as a not a general carry gun, I mean, uh, you know, if this sticks up a little high, is it really gonna matter that much at night? No, <laughs> oh no, you're basically yeah. doing it to shoot um, the night matches. Mm -hmm. So you can see that dot out there and just sure. basically shoot those difficult shots at night mm -hmm. or in the dark mm -hmm. and you'll be, you'll be set to go. So Marty, it's in your capable hands and We'll talk soon. Mm -hmm. Thanks, man. And like always, folks, please remain healthy, stay safe, and definitely have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.